Hey everyone, Anthony here, and as you probably guessed from the title, this video is a tour of my room. I personally think videos like this are very, very interesting. It's always really cool to see the spaces that other people are working with, so I figured that I should probably do my own. Obviously, my room is where I film and edit most of my videos, but it does serve a lot of other purposes as well. Maybe it'll give you ideas for your own room or office or whatever, but in any case, let's get started. Alright, so this is the door area. We've got a couple of movie posters on the door that I got for free at my local movie theater. A little folding chair stored right here. I like to sit on it when I film my videos. And then we can move on to this massive shelf right here. This shelf appears in the background of pretty much all of my videos. So I have these uh, LED light strips in the back to kind of just light it up and make it look a little more interesting. On top we have this essential oils diffuser to keep the room smelling fresh. Currently in it, we've got my personal favorite, which is lemon. There's this dusty old fan right here. Moving on down, we've got these three Star Wars pop figures. Maz Kanata, the Force Awakens version of Kylo Ren, and General Hux. They're all sitting on top of these three mini drawers. Not all of these labels are accurate. For example, in the fidget spinner drawer, I just have a bunch of microfiber cloths, but most of these are accurate. For example, in memory, we've got all sorts of stuff got an old SSD, uh, thumb drives, memory cards, all of that good stuff. So this is my favorite shelf. This is my camera collection. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I already have an entire 10 minute video on my channel dedicated to going over each and every one of these cameras in detail. So if you want, please go watch that. It should be linked in the description, assuming I didn't forget. But for the purpose of this video, I think I'll just point out my favorite one. This one is the Canon T70. I have a bunch of pictures that I've taken with this down here. Excuse the clutter, but this is just a general storage shelf. We've got a bunch of interesting things. For example, this is my collection of vintage flashes. I have four total. They're all meant for the cameras up here. I've got a bottle of fake blood. I've got this little basket of Nerf darts. I've got a Walkman kind of just chilling there. Down here, we've just got a bunch of books. My personal favorite on the shelf is Gone Girl. I read it for one of my college English classes. It's really good. Right here, I've got a basket with a bunch of random charging supplies. So this power bank for my phone, um, battery chargers, uh, rechargeable batteries, etc. And then I forgot to mention over here, this right here is my main tripod. And then that right there is an even smaller tripod that I also use from time to time. So yeah. Swiveling around this way, we've got this shelf right here, along with this giant whiteboard in front of it with a very, very good message for you guys. But uh, let's move that aside real quick. I got the shelf from Amazon for literally $25, but even though it's super cheaply built, it obviously does manage to do its job, which is to store stuff. We've got my collection of toy drones up here, bunch of mini drones, and then this one big drone. Down here, we've got an old tablet of mine. I have a bunch of tablets. I think this is a Fire HD6. White sheet, green screen, old record player. These are the two beds. Both of them have a nice little window view. There's a pillow. If I want, I can hang up my green screen right there. It takes about a minute, and then I've got myself my own little green screen studio. It looks pretty cool. All right, so let's sit down right here and take a look at my setup. So for those of you who've been following my channel, you may have noticed that my setup is looking a little different, and believe it or not, that's because it actually is. I decided to mix things up specifically for this video, and I added in a third monitor. Um, technically, it's a TV, but whatever. Um, it's the one right back there with Fortnite on it. My entire setup is currently a work in progress. I know it looks super wonky and lopsided. The cable management, as you can see, could also be better. But in any case, this is my setup. It's where I spend the vast majority of my day staring into the vast, cold, infinite, friendless void of the internet. It's great. In this drawer, I've got a couple of things. I've got another tablet, a uh, calculator, magazines, and whatnot. I've got a bunch of hard drives right here. Two terabytes, two terabytes, one terabyte quite a lot of storage. This is my gaming PC. It's a pretty good PC. I got it for really cheap at Best Buy and I've been upgrading it little by little. It's got pretty standard specs for a gaming PC, uh, Ryzen 7, 16 gigs of RAM, etc, etc, uh, but it does do the job. On top of this drawer right here, I've got this ridiculously old and clunky Dell laptop. This is what it looks like. I don't think it's currently charged. As you can see, 
It's designed for Windows XP and it has a state-of-the-art Pentium 4 processor. And this drawer right here, as you can see, it says top secret, but for this video, I'll open it up. It's got basically every single cable I've ever owned in my life. This one down here has so much random stuff. Things like this cable management sleeve, a baseball, and then this one down here is pretty much just old papers and stuff. Um, not much to talk about here. This right here is where my camera normally sits. You can see a bunch of lens caps right there. This is uh, a prime lens. And then in this basket right here, we've got a bunch of random stuff like my wallet, um, this RGB remote for the shelf right there, Altoids, very essential. In the back of the desk, I have even more books. My personal favorite here is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Tim Burton made it into a movie a while back. All right, and then right down here, stuffed away in this corner, we've got a bunch of Nerf guns. This one right here is my personal favorite. This is a Mega Twin Shot. As you can see, it's pretty massive. It shoots two of these Mega Darts at a time. It's a lot of fun to shoot with, and it looks really cool, so I do highly, highly recommend it. Some other Nerf guns back here include a couple of Accu Strikes. This is some off-brand sniper thing that belongs to my brother. Tiny little Nerf gun. Oh, did I mention my headphones? I've got a couple of pairs right back here. This one, it's an HPS 3000. I think it was a freebie as part of some kit or something. And then this is my main pair of headphones. This is the original HyperX Cloud headset. It is extremely comfortable. These aren't active noise canceling or anything like that, but they are very, very good at sealing out sound and whenever I've got a game or music playing, I can literally hear nothing else outside of the headphones. So yeah, these are, these are really good. All right, let's continue with the tour. So this side of the room, as I'm sure you can see, is a mess. No lights, no setup, just storage. Let's start taking a look around. To start, this is my dresser. It's where I keep my clothes, nothing special. On top, we have even more books, including one of my all-time favorite series, which is The Inheritance Cycle. It's a complete hardcover set. I'm quite proud of it. I've also got a calculator chilling up here. This one is a TI-84 Plus CE. It's a really nice, really advanced calculator. It can do pretty much anything you'd ever need a calculator to do. We've got a couple of selfie sticks sitting right here that I mostly use as uh, grips for GoPros. Up here, we've got my camera bag. It's from Amazon Basics. There's not much in it at the moment, but it's got this very nice orange interior. I've got another pair of headphones right here in this case. These are Audio-Technica Quiet Point 50s. These aren't in the greatest condition, which is why I have them packed away, but for a while, this was my main set of headphones. Right here, we've got two more tablets. This one's just a cheap tablet from Aspen, and this one is my old Kindle Paperwhite. It's for reading eBooks. We've got my sunglasses. I've also got this waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Putting a Bluetooth speaker in a windowsill will actually amplify the sound and spread it all across the room. That's why it's up here. This is my aloe plant right here, just to add a little bit of greenery to the room. This right here is another one of my all-time favorite books. This is The Book Thief. This one was also made into a movie, and actually, this particular copy is signed by the author. To the Coons family, which is my family, thank you, author signature. That's pretty cool. All right, and then behind this, I've got a couple more movie posters. This one, Angry Birds 2, again, just a freebie from my local movie theater. Avengers Endgame, I actually bought that poster. That's from Target. And then the grand finale being Lego Star Wars. I've had this poster forever, I think since The Force Awakens came out, which was way back in 2015. All right, this shelf is interesting to say the least. First thing is this little loot llama toy that was a Christmas present from my sister because I do like Fortnite. It's not quite dead just yet. And then I have a pair of bloodied hands that I actually bought for Halloween. They're also wearing my watches, which is kind of funny, I think. Underneath the hands, I've got an old geometry textbook. This right here is obviously a Santa hat. On this shelf, I have a bunch of computer parts, so the box for my Ryzen 7 processor, a power supply box, I've got whiteboard markers and this eraser. I've got this random Charlie Brown bobblehead thing. This basket actually has some interesting stuff. All right, so some of the more interesting things in this basket include this right here. This is like an LED light panel that I use occasionally. This right here is a Razer mouse pad. I've also got this old tripod head thing. I've got a couple of remotes, both of them for the two TVs that I'm using at my setup. I've got just a random Mater toy. I do have a couple more interesting things on the shelf, so I'm just gonna go grab those right now. This right here is a DJI Osmo Mobile 2. It's a gimbal for your phone. 
phone goes in right here and you can basically just move it around and it gets perfectly smooth and steady footage. I've got this 1000 piece puzzle that I think was half completed at one point. And then I've got yet another laptop. This one is my old laptop for like school and writing and stuff like that, but I did edit videos on it for a while. All right, so that's pretty much everything interesting in that storage area. And as a matter of fact, that's pretty much it for the room tour. All right, so I'm about to film the wrap up, but this is a little behind the scenes sneak peek for you at my filming setup. I've got my tripod right here, which my camera's gonna be on in a second. And then I've got the chair and I've got just one big softbox right there. But in any case, let's go ahead and film this. All right, that was the room tour. I hope you found it interesting, and if you did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. Follow me on Instagram at anthony.coons. But in any case, thank you for watching.